Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm Jonathan Asley of JonathanAsley.com, and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, the two subtle signs, there's very subtle signs that a man is falling in love with you. Really quickly, if you're new to my YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you can be notified of new content. I shoot about three or four videos per week. All right, let's talk about those subtle signs, those really, really subtle signs that man's fall, falling in love with you. Um, I Actually, they're not really that subtle. They are rather obvious, but I, I say they're subtle because oftentimes these are overlooked. And so today I want to do a little bit deeper dive into how men truly fall in love with another human being. Actually, how human beings genuinely fall in love with each other. And what I mean to say is they make a deep commitment to one another. Deep commitment to one another. So if you've been following my work, you know I talk about this uh, several different authors. I, I highly recommend reading books so you can learn the mechanics of a healthy, happy relationship. And one of the books I recommend frequently is a book called Eight Dates by Dr. John Gottman. Eight Dates by Dr. John Gottman. Now, what I like about John Gottman's work is that he talks about the three phases of love, and I've talked about this in other videos, but I want to go into two of the phases that really demonstrate someone is genuinely really moving towards full commitment with another human being. And so one of so the, basically the three phases that John Gottman talks about is first, we tend to operate from the beginning of wanting our own needs met in relationship, wanting our own needs met. In fact, on some level, we're very selfish and I'm going to even use the word narcissistic in our desires to having our own needs met. Now, I'm not saying narcissistic in the sense of being disingenuous to another human being and lacking empathy. empathy. It's just we can be somewhat tunnel visioned, tunnel visioned in wanting our own needs met. That's the way the process works. We're, we're trying to fill our own cup up. In fact, very few people are dating from the premise of like, I want to make your life better. It's always, how can your life make me feel better? And I know some of you saying, no, I don't operate that way. And that's a crock of shit. We all kind of operate from a selfish, myopic sense. Until you actually meet someone that that actually you get excited about, you get enthusiastic about, you, you find a connection with them, you feel that sense of camaraderie, you feel that sense of even friendship being built. So the two subtle ways, and they're not really that subtle, it, it requires paying, but and, and yet it does require, re, require paying attention, is number one is that the person you're with tries to meet your needs. In other words, they're genuinely trying to meet your needs. So it's first identifying what those needs are, but they're genuinely trying to meet them. So I'll give you an example. I was dating a woman years ago, right after my divorce. And, um, and when I, um, and we started a relationship and I spent time at her house and I noticed that her favorite bottled water was this brand, I'm not even sure if it even exists anymore. Let me know if it does by posting a comment below, called Penta or Penta, Pen, some, I think it was called Penta Water. Um, I can't remember now. So if it still exists, please post a comment. So, um, so when she came to visit me, I go, you know what? I know this is her favorite bottled water. So I went and bought a six pack so that was in my refrigerator. So when she came to visit over the weekend, she had her favorite bottled water in the fridge. And, you know, quite frankly, she may or may not, I mean, she was very grateful and she noticed, but that was my way of saying, you matter to me, you, I care about you, I'm falling in love with you because I'm trying to meet your needs. You're, and this also requires being present and paying attention. So there was a level of, I, I paid attention and then I went the effort to wanting to meet her needs, at least having her favorite bottle of water. That was a sign that I really cared about her. That's a sign that I really wanted to explore a deeper relationship with her. 
Now, let me just be clear for this uh, illustration. I wasn't ready for a relationship at that time. I was a total train wreck after my divorce. Oh my God, I was such a mess. And thankfully, she actually knew that. She even said, I'm, I'm dating you with rose-colored glasses because you're a mess, Jonathan. Um, but to this day, she's still the one woman that actually, on some level, I, you know, this, this was 15 years ago, that still holds a special place in my heart because I was falling in love with her. I just wasn't ready. We can talk about that in another video and, you, and you're welcome to ask me questions about that. Because if I, we lean into the second sign that someone is genuinely falling in love with you is when your partner's needs become your needs and your partner's needs become your needs. And let me give you an example. And I've shared this in previous videos. I, I, I was in a significant relationship some years back and while we weren't able to fully go the distance, I, I genuinely was in love with this person. I cared about them. And one of the things she did was every time we went out to dinner, she wanted to yelp the restaurant. And at first it used to bug the heck out of me because I'm like, I could care less, let's just go to the restaurant. But she wanted to read the reviews and read about it. And at, at first it kind of bugged me because I didn't want to do that. But then I started to see the value of reading it because you get a sense of the place. And then eventually it, I, she didn't even need to ask. I literally began doing it because her needs became my needs. And that's the second subtle piece is your partner's needs become your needs. And that's a true demonstration of actually leaning towards commitment, falling in love with someone. First, you want to meet their needs, and then your need, their needs become your needs. And by the way, this is a reciprocal kind of thing. In fact, if you're not familiar with the book, The Partnership Charter, I'm going to show this book, The Partnership Charter. What I love about this, this is a business book, but it talks about how to be in an effective partnership with one another. And I really love that. Even though it's a business book, it's got great insight to apply to relationships, the partnership charter. I highly recommend reading it in conjunction with Eight Dates and of course, in conjunction with my book, What the Heck is Self Love Anyway, which talks about how to get your needs met in a relationship. You definitely wanna check out my book, What the Heck is Self Love Anyway. There's a link uh, below in the description to get a copy, Self Love the Book. In fact, if you've been interested in wanting to work with a coach and you've been curious to see if uh, working with a coach is right for you, check out the link below to schedule a free discovery call. Uh, it's there to see if working together is really a good fit for both of us. All right, I'm going to wrap up this video as I always do. First off, giving myself a big, gigantic Jonathan Bear hug of self-love. I'm going to reach into the camera and give you a hug of love if that's okay. I'm going to ask you to turn to somebody and give them a hug of love because hugs are a great source of love and we can all use more love in our lives. Thanks so much and wishing you a fabulous day. Bye-bye now.